Today I'm going to go over how to make a simple clicker game using two buttons and three variable chips. This is just a simple game so there's not going to be a whole lot of advanced features, it's just going to be one button to upgrade and one button to click. So, I have all the chips laid out but we'll go through wiring them together. So, first of all, make the variables. Make the variables you know you'll need and name them. Because naming variables is very important and very useful. I've also renamed the button circuit board just to make it a little easier. So, when you press the click button, it will add to the total clicks, and it'll add by the per click amount. And then it'll just take that to string and plug it into the button set text. And the button will be the click button. We'll have that so when that's changed, it'll plug into there. Let's just give it a bit more room. There we go. So just go over that, pressed. It'll update it, increase it by the per click amount, and it'll convert that to a string and put it into the button set text. So when I click it, it'll say zero because the per click is zero. So let's increase it. That's how it works. It set it to that. And as you can see, it's all flashing good. Now if you hear it's a little more complicated. So, upgrade button. When pressed, if the total clicks is greater than or equal to the upgrade amount, then it'll process it. Not just greater though, because there is a greater chip and a greater or equal chip. So we don't want the greater chip, we don't want the equal chip, we want both. So that way, if they have the exact amount or over, it'll work. So it subtracts the upgrade cost from the total clicks. Then that'll feed to the per click, which will add one. So just configure it, put configure on the tab, and set it to one. Then that'll go into the upgrade cost. And the reason we're using floats is because integers max out at 2 billion, and that's annoying. So we're using floats, and also with floats, you can multiply them by decimals, which is nice. So we'll plug that into there, and we'll multiply it by 1.2. 1 1.2. So now each time you click the button, it grows by 20%. And we'll round it so there's no ugly decimals, and now it's good. And then we get that to string and plug that into the button set text. Target, of course, is going to be the upgrade button, and we'll just execute that once all the lines are processed. But now, of course, hey, wait a minute, these are all still zero. Can't I just configure it though to make it not zero? Yes, but you can't just type in anything. Like if I type in 10, that doesn't automatically set the total clicks to 10, as you can see. This is the input, this is the output, still nothing at the output. So what you have to do is you have to run an execution through that so it actually processes it and turns it into 10. You can do that with a button, interaction volume, trigger volume, many things. I'll just clone this button just so I can set it. There we go. Now if you look here, flow is 10. That's just an example. And over here, we have to set the variables. But, and this will work when whenever someone joins so you know if you have this in like a side game at home whatever game you have then this will this will set it so it's not just zero of course i'm the only one here so i could change these to like test event or something but this is just a demonstration so i just have a player join because it runs often but not too often but it works whenever someone joins so it'll check it'll make sure that whenever someone joins they don't have zero so if per click equals zero don't want it greater than or equal to, we just want equals. Then, well, I usually have this link like back into the per click, and I have that link there, so that says one. So if it equals zero, it'll then process it and set it to one. And then I'll say one, and then it'll say false. And the same down here, if the upgrade cost is equal zero, then set it to 50. And so that's a simple circuit. Let me just, oops. So it's a test event real quick. You can also test event by going to circuits and debugging on your watch and pressing send test event. As you can see, that made them all flash. So now if we look over here, float 50, float 1. Now if we click this, button is increasing. 
and I get 50. Click that. Now it says the cost is 60. I also get two per click. So then I get 60. Click it again. I get three per click. Pretty good. You could also just plug that in again. Yeah, this once you process that, so it'll update. So we go over here and we click that, and it'll actually set it to that, so you don't have to click it again to see the thing. Obviously, this is just a simple clicker. It doesn't have any rebirths or anything or any other fancy gadgets or whatever. And it just increases by one every time you upgrade, but it's a fun little game to waste some time. So, that's all. See ya.